Hello from Overdrive, we are in the baking hot thar desert near Jaisalmer in Rajasthan and this is the 2018 Maruti Suzuki Desert Storm. The rally was flagged up from the Great India Place in Noida, where one could see cars and bikes of various shapes, sizes and cubic capacities line up. This year, we started a new concept, if you heard about it, called the Team Motorsport. The Team Motorsport is all about the man, the machine, and the performance in totality. So what you see is the silver, yellow, and the blue. These are all colors that personify sport and performance. Yellow is the color of performance. So we put them together. Blue is our corporate color. So we put them together to form this new CI that you see on all four cars standing right here. This year, there was a 40% jump in the number of participants that were flagged off compared to the 2017 edition. That alone goes to show the growing popularity of one of India's toughest cross-country rallies. This only goes to show that people are imbibing the sport, they're liking the sport, they want to participate in it and grow it further. The participants had to cover over 2,000 kilometers with special stages in Bikaner and Jaisalmer. To add to the challenge of rallying in the desert, the organizers insisted on only using a roadbook to navigate on certain stages. The scorching hot temperature and treacherous terrain was proving to be a test of both man and machine. The first leg of the rally in Bikaner itself was proving to be quite challenging. Basically, oneness must be picked out from the driver. If there's any part that he's abused in terms of while driving, so then uh, you know uh, one set of people you know attend to that issue, and there are a lot of precautionary checks that we need to do, right from uh, you know your suspension to engine gearbox and all those things, and there are maintenance aspects as well. But, despite the many odds stacked against them, these brave men and women set out to conquer a rally stage with steely determination every single time. In the motor category, Angata Racing's Aaron Mayer emerged victorious. Participating for the first time, Aaron knew when to push hard and when to back off the throttle on his KTM, depending on the terrain and the conditions. It was much longer, uh, lots more different terrain, uh, quite hard pack in the beginning and then uh, yeah we got into the dunes a little bit. I was expecting it to be a little bit more sandy than it was, but uh, yeah, it, was still, it was still fun. Uh, it was a little bit wet as well this morning, obviously from the rain, so that was really nice. This year's winner in the extreme category, as well as the overall winner, Abhishek Mishra, you had a share of ups and downs before. When you are driving such a long stage, then you have to plan it accordingly because, uh, see, end of the day, all these cars are uh, normal saloon vehicles to be used on street, and we've converted them into rally vehicle, and then we are driving them on their limits. This year, the plan was to finish first of all. From uh, past two years, we've not been able to finish. Then I, it was a long rally when I was, uh, although it looks uh, very simpler this year just because uh, there are only two destinations, Bikaner and Jaisalmer. But if you look at the competitive kilometers, they've increased around about 200 competitive kilometers to this rally. The 2018 Maruti Suzuki Desert Storm provided a window into the life of a rally driver and rider. One where guts and willpower are brimming and a streak of passion ignites the fire to outdo not only each other, but also themselves. Life in those moments going flat out during a rally stage is what gives meaning to their lives.
This is our 16th uh, uh, edition of uh, Dazzle Storm and uh, we are into you know this thing uh, various rallies for almost now two decades. Uh, our Raid Day Himalaya being the other one. Now this is a very extreme kind of a rally and every year we are you know raising the bar. We uh, you know being in the field of uh, car manufacturing and particularly when you are market leader. So it comes naturally to us that we should promote motorsport in our country. And I would like to say that we have been quite successful in doing so.